Hi, um, this is Ruth. I'm making some gluten-free uh, wild rice, mushroom, onion, tomato wraps. The wraps I'm using, sorry I'm bending because I don't want you to miss anything. Um, the wraps I'm using are these, rice paper, and you can get them at like loads of supermarkets actually, and Asian stores, specialty stores. They're really nice and light. You can even fry them if you want to or bake them if you want to to get some colour on them. We're going to do them simple. You can do this raw if you want to and just use raw vegetables all chopped up with a really nice balsamic or some kind of sauce of your choice. But what we've done is we've soaked it under the tap until it's more papery. Can you see it's all foldy and bendy? And then I've put it on a tea cloth to dry, hopefully a clean one. So, yeah, it smells clean. <laughs> um, and then I've sautéed some uh, mushrooms, onions, tomatoes and some wild rice. And then I take the wild rice and I place it in the wrap. These are square wraps. You can get round ones too. Um, I don't think there's a lot of difference. It depends what you're comfortable wrapping with. And I mean wrapping not like rap music, I mean wrapping. <laughs> um, you could do rap music with it, I guess that would be okay if you feel like boogieing on down. Um, so we're going to put this in here, we're going to wrap it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the sides in. You'll notice it folds in really easy and they're meeting and then I'm rolling it up. What's lovely about these rice paper wraps is they look really pretty. And because I'm really lazy about knives and all that kind of stuff and things can get ruined, I'm just going to take a regular pair of kitchen scissors and cut the darn thing. So I'm going to cut it in half. It's a bit poo shaped, right? Um, so I'm going to cut it in half and then it looks like this. And then I'm going to stick it on a plate like this and then it displays really well. So you could do this as appetizers for a party or this could just be for you. Um, this is a great alternative for people who are vegan and really, you know, very picky about what they eat and if they're wanting to watch their diet. This has got no dairy. This has got no cheese or milk or fish or meat products in it. And actually it's got no bread products in it either. So this would work for many um, really difficult diets So nowadays unfortunately there's quite a few of those so you yourself might not have a difficult diet but you might know someone that you love that does it's nice for you to be able to cook for them without causing yourself loads of extra work because you can take this wild rice and for yourself you could take like a regular tortilla and just wrap it in that how you would do that same thing right um, so we're going to take this rice at the moment this is cold because it's been sitting here for a while. But all I would have to do to warm it up is stick it in, wrap it in foil or something in the oven and warm it up for a little while if I didn't want to use a microwave, which I don't like using. So um, this is me in my girlfriend's kitchen. It's not even my kitchen, I don't actually have a kitchen right now. Um, so this goes in here, it's really neat. Um, you don't want to put too much in. So you see how much I put in, I put it in one side. Um, that's the secret of the wrap, <laughs> the wrap secret. Um, so you put this in here, pour that together, do the same thing you did on the other one, squish it in, roll it up, my sweet little wrap, I love you, and then put it like this, again I can use scissors or I could use a knife, but I like the scissor thing, it's quick, um, and I've got the same deal, and because there's two ends that could fall apart because they're, um, you know, these tortilla wraps, I'm going to push them together and stick them on a plate, so those are my Wraps. I wouldn't put them on the same plate as the other wraps. I'd put them on a different plate for the people that don't want to do any kind of gluten. Um, but this is a nice alternative. Of course, you could do this with corn tortillas, which are usually smaller and it, uh, you know, gluten-free. And you can actually, um, again, offer a completely gluten-free appetizer, and it's a really good thing. So, healing story of the day: how to heal yourself. Pay attention to what your body asks you for, how you feel, what's happening. Let your body tell you what it wants to eat rather than your brain deciding what it's in the mood for. And the more preparation you can do the day before, the better, uh, because you're going to decide. And if you wake up that day and you've prepared something you don't feel in the mood for it, it doesn't mean it's written in stone, you can change it. So anyway, blessings to all of you. Hope all the angels are shining on you. Mwah. Lots of love. Tune in next time. There'll be a great story for you, a healing story along with a bit more food. Love you guys.